How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Root of the Null here, coming back at you with some more Python code, and we're still looking at zip file, but dude, we're just about ready to wrap things up. Now, alright, the last functionality, the last cool little feature that I want to show you guys as part of the zip file module is all about passwords and uh, decrypting some encrypted files that are part of your archive. Now, as of the moment, unfortunately, uh, zip file does not have the password does not have the uh, capability to, uh, let's see, I want to find it. It does not have the ability to create encrypted files in your zip files, in your zip archives, but it can decrypt stuff that you already have. You can read this right here. It supports the decryption of encrypted files in zip archives, but it currently cannot create an encrypted file. So, okay. Decryption is extremely slow as it is implemented in native Python rather than C. So, you do want to be kind of careful when you're using this. It's not a greatest idea, but I want to show you that you do have the functionality and the capability of doing it. So, I'm going to open up my uh, uh, file manager here. That's uh, Thunar. Thunar right here. Okay, so, shopping. This is our archive that we've been working with. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head up to uh, Edit, and I'll select Password. Uh, I'm running Unity, so I have the global menu. It's not really going to be visible for you guys. But I'm going to enter a password for shopping.zip, and I'm going to say Save the Trees with underscores. Okay, so I can save that, and you can see now we have these icons that they all have um, some, uh, some encryption and some passwords for all this stuff. So... If I actually went back to our text editor, I tried to zip archive.extract, we know that we have uh, people in here. Let's extract the people. If I run this, it gives me an error telling me that, dude, this file is encrypted, password is required for extraction. So, okay, if we look at the documentation, we know that we can go ahead and extract with a password. And, um, let's see, yeah, password is the password used for encrypted files. So, I don't really want to change the location, so I'm not going to modify the path variable. So, I'm just going to say that pwd is equal to the string save underscore the trees. Now, if I run this, no problems. I look over here to my uh, text editor, no, sorry, not my text editor, but my file manager, and there's people. I need to buy me some people. Cool. So, we can actually set this up with uh, uh, zip file dot zip archive set password. And that can be the default password for everything that we're trying to extract, rather than having to have to pass in this argument every time that we want to extract a different item from the, uh, from the zip archive. So before we do that, though, I want to go ahead and change the password. I'm going to call it... Uh, I'll go over back to my archive manager and edit the password. I'm going to change it to um, we need the wood with underscores. Now I can get out of that thing. We need the wood. And let's extract the virgins. All right. Now, if I run this, boom, no problems virgins.txt. I need to buy some virgins. We got everything running perfectly fine here. Shopping.zip. Everything is encrypted with that password. So we're in a good spot. Everything is working exactly the way we want it to. We can uh, decrypt or at least extract files that are protected by a password and that have been encrypted. So, all right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you all again.